all right welcome to video number 27 pagination and SSRS in this video we will go one step ahead because last time what we saw was there are some bunch of crazy users who can go like you know 60 and when you hit view report in the end you'll end up with like 45 that's not what you want so we need to control these things so in order to save time what I did is like you know I made a new table called STBL paging and I created two columns ID and value and ID is a primary key and the paging is like so select stuff from paging and these are the values which I'm going to populate in the drop down rather than giving them an option to you know uh, enter through a text box right so I'm back in Visual Studio alright and now I need to configure my limit parameter so in order to configure that uh, let's go back and see the available values get the values from the query and all right so if you remember if uh, you want to fill your drop down with number of values you need a data set sort of a data set so I'm gonna create a new data set I'm gonna uh, call this guy as uh, pagination values I'm gonna call this guys pagination values and instead of creating a new data source I'm gonna use the existing data source which uh, you all can see you know on to the left hand side so this is what you're seeing here and that's what I'm gonna choose here but in the reality what it I'm sorry in reality what it does is it points you know to this fella and as usual I'm not good at using this tool alright so basically you got the idea like how it works next thing I'm gonna add a table a lot of time it happens like you know if you add a new table it doesn't show up then you need to hit the refresh button alright so it will show you uh, your TBL paging then you add then close then you choose something that you want to select all the columns and then you hit OK and you can see your ID and values show up next thing uh, you choose a limit go to the parameter properties first uh, you go to the available values nope you go to the default values and choose no default values alright then you go to your available values then get the values from the data set which we have just created pagination values and that's what you're seeing on the left hand side value field is going to be value and again it is going to be a value because that's what you want to display let's hit OK and let's save it and let's preview the moment you preview it is asking you how much you want to see you're saying I want to see five records per page alright this is cool alright you change your mind you want to go by 25 let's view report and as you can see you're getting 25 records per page and that's more like it and now user cannot go beyond you know uh, the limit of 35 so that's how you restricting your user because the system doesn't allow you to do it right so I hope uh, this video gives you an idea like how you can you know uh, do the things so where you have more control over the system over the users input and the weird thing uh, we talked about it in the I think, I think in the 26th uh, video was uh, you seeing the header over here the moment I do next the header disappears which we don't like it right so in the next video the last video of the pagination I'll try to do that alright so stay tuned for more and if this video helps you in some way or if you like it then please subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends and let me know your thoughts via comments and thank you for watching this video once again good night and take care